Most heavy rainfall and flooding swept through several counties across Georgia, leaving behind severe damage in many areas. CBS 46's Melissa Stern, she reports that the National Weather Service sent survey teams to more than six counties today to investigate the damage. I just heard a lot of rumbling. I heard the tree crashing and set my alarm off. I hit my other car and set that alarm off. When the remnants of Hurricane Delta came through, there was severe flooding and at least seven tornadoes that spun up across the state. My house is brick. My house is a brick house, but I could feel it shake. Teams are still currently surveying other areas. From Columbus to Athens, the 23 warnings um, all occurred. We had quite a few of them in the Atlanta metro area, actually. One touchdown just south of this Decatur neighborhood shortly after 8 Saturday night. The National Weather Service tells me that 75 to 80 mile per hour winds came through this area. For reference, a Category 1 hurricane starts at 73 miles per hour. The, my phone told us to take cover, so we ducked into a room. Curtis Metafee and his family have been without electricity ever since. I haven't been able to wash or do anything for the last two days. And during this pandemic, and, I'm, and I get all this extra added stress, you know, and there's only so much a body can take. Crews were busy at work cutting down trees, cleaning up debris, and removing dangerous hanging power lines. I was scared that night, but frustrated now. You know, it's just the clean up and try to put everything back together. But Keith Stellman, the meteorologist in charge for the National Weather Service, says there's good news ahead. This was the worst of it. We're actually looking at a pretty good cool spell coming in. Thankfully, no one was injured, but many homeowners are left cleaning up Mother Nature's mess. That's a hurting feeling to have something taken from you like that. You can't do nothing about it. Stellman says this is a good reminder to take warnings seriously and to have a plan of action should a tornado come your way. Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.